Good day learners! Welcome again to another video lesson in Math Diaries. So for today's video, you will identify the domain of a rational function. You will also identify the range of a rational function. From the definitions, domains of a rational function are all the values of x that will not make the denominator be equal to 0. It has a notation of f of x is equal to t of x all over m of x, wherein m of x must not be equal to 0. While in range, it is the corresponding set of real numbers that f has taken. Let's have an example. Find the domain in range of f of x is equal to 1 over x. Let us first find the domain. So in this case, find all the values of x. Okay. So the domain of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 0. Ibig pong sabihin, lahat pwede maging values ng x except 0. Why? Kapag sinubstitute natin ang 0 sa denominator, it will become undefined. So, in symbol, all real numbers except 0. So, x is an element of R or any real numbers such that x is not equal to 0. Para naman makuha ang range ng isang rational function, una, Pwede nyo i-graph ang given rational function. Pangalawa, pwede kayong gumamit ng inverse function. Sa example natin sa number 1, gumamit tayo ng graph. So, use GeoGebra, Desmos. Ito yung mga software na makikita online. Kung makikita nyo, hindi nag-pass through yung graph sa 0. So, yung y natin, yun yung vertical axis, hindi nag-pass through yung graph, so y is equal to 0. Therefore, the range of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 0. In symbol, y is an element of any real numbers such that y must not be equal to 0. Example number 2. Find the domain and range of g of x is equal to x over x minus 1. Kunin natin ang domain. So, sa given example na rational function, ay may binomial. So, ang unang gagawin, i-equate natin yung denominator, which is x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, when we transpose negative 1 to the other side, it will become positive. Therefore, x is equal to 1. So, the domain of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 1. So, lahat pwede maging values ng x except 1. In symbol, x is an element of any real numbers such that x must not be equal to 1. Para naman makuha yung range na given rational function, sa example number 2, gumamit ako dito ng inverse function. Sa paggamit ng inverse function, papalta natin yung g of x ng y. So, it will become y is equal to x over x minus 1. Next step, pagpapalitin natin yung variable na x and y. Yung y magiging x at yung x magiging y. So, we have x is equal to y over y minus 1. Next step, cross multiplication. Imumultiply yung x sa y minus 1 at yung y imumultiply sa invisible denominator na 1. So, we have x multiplied by y minus 1 is equal to y. Next step, i-distribute natin yung x sa bawat term ng binomial na y minus 1. It will become x times y, xy, and x times negative 1 equals negative 
x bring down equals y since we will we are solving uh, y in terms of x pagsasamahin natin yung magkasamang variable na may y so ita transpose natin yung positive y to the other side it will become xy minus y and then ita transpose yung negative x it will become positive x now kunin naman natin or ipapactor natin yung xy at negative y so kukunin niyo yung GCF ng xy at negative y. So ang GCF niyan ay positive y. Pag nakuha na yung GCF, i-divide niyo yung bawat term ng binomial sa GCF. So xy divided by y, matitira na lang ay x. And negative y divided by y is negative 1. Bring down negative x. To solve for y, divide both sides by x minus 1 para makancel. So, matitira na lang ay sa left side ay y and then sa right side is x over x minus 1. Kagaya ng ginawa natin in finding the domain, equate lang natin yung denominator into 0. And since this is already an inverse function. So, kahit x yung nasa denominator, yun yun pa din magiging exemption natin sa ating range. So, it will become x minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to positive 1. And the range of g of x is the set of all real numbers except positive 1. In symbol, y is an element of any real number such that y must not be equal to positive 1 or an interval notation we have from negative infinity to positive 1 union positive 1 to positive infinity so para makuha yung interval notation review the solving inequalities Solving rational equation and rational inequalities. Next example, find the domain and range of f of x is equal to x plus 2 over x squared minus 4. So in this example, we have a square of binomial x squared minus 4. So, when we expand x squared minus 4, it will become x plus 2 and x minus 2. So, equate natin yung dalawang binomial na x plus 2 and x minus 2. So, it will become negative 2 and positive 2. So, ibig sabihin, lahat pwedeng maging values ng x except negative 2 and positive 2. So, in symbol, Negative infinity to negative 2, union, negative 2 to positive 2, union, positive 2 to positive infinity. In rules term notation, we have x is an element of any real numbers such that x must not be equal to positive and negative 2. Then to find the range... Ganun pa din, gagamitin natin ang inverse function. So, yung f of x, papalitan ng y. Next step, interchange x and y. Papalitan yung x ng y at yung y papalitan ng x. And then, i-expand natin yung x squared minus 4. Since napalitan na yung x ng y, so ang expanded form, it will become a y minus 2 and y plus 2. Next, cancel y plus 2, both numerator and denominator. So, matitira, matitira na lang po ay x is equal to 1 over y minus 2. Next, multiply both sides by y minus 2. So, we have xy minus 2x para sa left side Cancel y minus 2 para sa right side. Ang matitira na lang ay 1. Next, 
transpose negative 2x to the other side kasi dapat matira na lang sa left side ay y. Since we are solving y in terms of x, so we have xy is equal to 2x plus 1. Divide both sides by x. So cancel x, we have y is equal to 2x plus 1 over x. Using the inverse function na nasolve natin kanina, which is y is equal to 2x plus 1 over x, igagrap nyo siya gamit ang GeoGebra o kaya Desmos. Okay? So, this is the illustration or the graph of y is equal to 2x plus 1 over x. So, kung napansin nyo yung graph, hindi nagpass through sa y-axis o yung y is equal to 0. So, yun yung magiging exemption ng range natin. Therefore, the range of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 0. In symbol, y is an element of any real numbers such that y must not be equal to 0. Another example, find the dominion range of of f of x is equal to 1 over x minus 1 plus 2. Find the domain. In order to find the domain, you have to equate always the denominator into 0. So, x minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to positive 1. Yun yung maging exemption. Therefore, the domain of f of x is the set of all real numbers except positive 1. In symbol, from negative infinity to positive 1, yun yun, positive 1 to positive infinity. Or, a symbol in roster notation, which is, x is an element of any real numbers such that x must not be equal to positive 1. To find the range, in example number 4, gamit tayo ulit ng inverse function. Ulitin natin na kapag gumagamit ang inverse function, ang f of x papalitan ng y. So, we have y is equal to 1 over x minus 1 plus 2. Next step, pagpapalitin ng x and y, yung x magiging y at yung y magiging y. X. Ito na nga, pinalta na natin. It will become X is equal to 1 over Y minus 1 plus 2. Next, itatranspose natin yung positive 2 to the other side. It will become X minus 2 is equal to 1 over Y minus 1. Next step, multiply both sides by Y minus 1. So, it will it will become, kakancel muna natin yung y minus 1. Okay? So, matitira na lang ay y minus 1 and then x minus 2 bring down positive 1. Next, use the FOIL method to find the product of this 2 binomial. So, i-multiply lang natin using FOIL method. Ayan. Therefore, ang product ay xy minus 2y minus x plus 2 bring down positive 1. Next, combine like terms ulit. Solve for y in terms of x. So, pagsamahin lahat ng variable na y. xy minus 2y and then transpose to the other side yung mga walang y. So, we have x minus 2 plus 1. Okay? Okay. We have xy minus 2y, simplify, minus 2 plus 1 or negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Okay? And then, factor natin yung xy minus 2y. Ang factor nyan ay y. So, para makuha yung other factor, you have to divide xy divided by y. Ang matitira na lang ay x. And then, negative 2y divided by y is equal to negative 2. Bring down x minus 1. 
So, divide both sides by negative 2 or x minus 2. Cancel natin. Cancel. Ang matitira na lang ay y. And then, sa right side is x minus 1 over x minus 2. So, i-graph lang natin yung na-compute natin inverse function na y is equal to x minus 1 and x minus 2 using GeoGebra. So, ito yung illustration ng graph. Kung napansin nyo, hindi nag-pass through yung graph sa positive 2. Okay? Ng y-axis. Therefore, the range of f of x is the set of all real numbers except positive 2. In symbol, y is an element of any real numbers such that y must not be equal to positive 